Shalom Israel. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honor to the apostles and others of the great millstone. Shalom to the elect men, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. This lesson is basically going to go into, you know, these, these Christian grape juice drinkers, you know, as our apostles and elders call them. Um, you know, they just continue to put their foot in their mouth, man. Jesus is the word talking about the elect is going to be virgins. All right. Um, now in this guy, uh, Milwaukee Asherala, talking about some, um, the elect not gonna have sex, man. I have a brother's been going in through the spirit, man. I just want to get my spiritual, um, my spiritual two cents as far as, you know, Christianity ain't the way, man. You guys is losing horribly, man, because everything you say, man, just going against the scriptures, man. All right. But ex actually, you fit prophecy, man. It says right here in 1 Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, man. And that's a seducing spirit, man. Talking about when you having sex in the kingdom, man. You bugging. <laughs> All right? You bugging, man. And Apostle, uh, the elder Apostle um, uh, Gabar pulled out this, man. Which, man, after I heard this, I was like, man, that's it. That's He brought out, you know, many good precepts, man. But this one, for me, did it. It was uh, 6522. Right? No, yeah. Isaiah 6522. They shall not build in another inhabitant. They shall not plant in another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people... And mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. They shall not labor in vain, nor bring forth for trouble. For they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord, and their offspring with them. So let's go to uh, Isaiah 26, 65 and 23, and see what that word offspring means, man. Because we know it's talking about the elect. It just said it, man. Get that real quick. It says, I taught the yak. No, it's locked it. I, I shall. It's locked it. I don't wanna. This is offspring produce mm -hmm. issue. Offspring of men to produce a descendant. You know, so that I don't really give you much here. Let me see that coming forth. This is offspring to produce, to produce what? Children, man. How do you produce children, man? By having sex. All right. So the offspring of the elect, all right, which they're going to have offspring by having sex, man. You know? They're going to have offspring by having sex, man. And, and brothers put uh, beautiful, many beautiful uh, precepts, man. One shall become a thousand. How that's going to happen, man? By having sex. All right. But back to the um point I, I wanted to make. That you guys, man, you come up here, you know, you just make fools of yourself, man. All right? Some shall depart from the faith. So this guy, Milwaukee Yasharala, right? Once GMS, now a scoffer, departing from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, man. Thinking you got it, man. You know? Maybe the apostle's wrong, man. Maybe the name ain't Yahweh shot, man. That's what these dudes think, man. You know what? I, I, got, I got this. I could do it better. You know, but but obviously not, man. It says speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, man. You know, Here these guys, you know, have their conscience seared with a hot iron, man. You know, 
Hey, the scriptures say. Um, let me see. First uh, Samuel's. First Samuel's two and three. Talk no more, so exceedingly proud. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For Yahweh is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Who is Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shah dealing with? Man, apostles out is a great millstone. How we know that? All right, because they go by the book, man. That book being the scriptures, man. All right. It says, speaking lies and hypocrisies, having their conscience say what they hard iron. And that's what these guys do, man. You rather look like a fool to get your point across than be humble. All right. Hey, the scriptures say that, um, how's it go? Uh, even a fool, when he holds his tongue, is kind of wise, man. You know? But here it is. These guys making videos looking like fools, man. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. And this, this man, this is a beautiful time we in, man. All right? Because, hey, man, Yahweh Shai, his word is going out there, man. And all these fables, man. All these Christianity doctrine. Uh, uh, all these Christianity uh, fables. All right, it's being cast down through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. All right, what's those, that meat? All right, is his word, man. All right. It says, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats. And it's let you know that, to let you know that it's not talking about regular meats, it goes on to say, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. All right, and I had um. Just to further prove that point. This is John. Chapter six, and verse thirty-five. It says, Yahweh shall I said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believe on me shall never thirst. So when we read these scriptures, we read it with understanding through the spirit and power of Yahweh about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, because, you know, we we didn't walk away, we didn't go away, man. All right, that's what it means to be a virgin, like the brother um. Ayashamaf GMS Living Waters had a uh, 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 um did a beautiful lesson on man. All right, we didn't go away, man. So therefore, we shall never hunger, man. We shall never thirst, man. All right, you're not gonna sound stupid, you know what I'm saying? Going out there and highways and byways. Why? Because you are coming out of the scriptures, man. You you remain faithful. All right, and the things that you have learned, man. As our apostles and elders um did, man. We do it as well. All right, so back in uh. First Timothy chapter four, and verse uh, four. For every creature of God is good, and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving. So that also goes to prove, man. While we gotta be humble with this truth, man, we gotta, you know, what I'm saying, uh, uh, receive of this word with meekness, humility, and happiness, man. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou put the brethren in remembrance of these things, thou shalt be a good minister of Yahawashai, nourished up in the words of faith and of good doctrine, whereunto thou hast attained. But refuse profane and old wise fables, and exercise thyself rather unto godliness. So our job is to exercise ourselves in godliness. All right, in its truth and in godliness, man. And not giving heed to seducing fables, man. Not trying to look like something, man, but go according um, to the scripts, man. All right. So with that, you know, uh, I hope brothers edified. Shalom, Israel.